Now we're talking to the board members of the East Meets West Children's Foundation are putting on this fabulous event, Mohini Singh. This looks great in here. It's awesome, it's fantastic. It takes us a year to plan this, and then when it's over, we're ready for next year. So talk a little bit about the purpose of this, Mike. Uh, basically the purpose is to raise money, and uh, we uh, donate money to uh, children's charities in Canada and in India. So. so talk about that connection between you know helping the kids out here and helping them overseas. Well, we are Canadians, so we do owe a sense of loyalty to our own community as well. And we're a global family. And um, taking care of children abroad is also important. So tying the two things together, we felt it was important to spend half the money here and half the money there. This year we will be donating half the proceeds of this event to Starbright, the Children's Development Center. And that will give Starbright the ability to hire experts, doctors, to work with the children. So what we feel we're doing is we're helping our community and we're helping India, children in India as well and creating this global synergy. And it looks like you're having a great time uh, doing it, so that, that's a win-win-win. Absolutely, yeah, so it's, uh, it's basically the Diwali Festival of Lights, right? So uh, we kind of take that on in the fall here, so it's great. The change of the color of the leaves and that, so it uh, all ties in, it's perfect. You know, Doug, what's really, and actually, Mike, you're absolutely right. Um, Doug, you know what, Mike brought up the issue of be this being the season of Diwali. It's a Hindu festival of lights, as Mike said. But Diwali also signifies hope. And our hope is to bring that light into the lives of young abandoned children in India and children who, ha who are dealing with challenges here in Canada. All right, well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. I know you've got a busy night ahead of you. A very busy night. <laughs> thank you. Stay for dinner. Look, an invite to dinner, Tim. Now we're talking to Paranaz and Rashad, parents of, uh, of a child that's been helped here. We heard a little bit about your story earlier. Tell us, tell us uh, about this. So we adopted Aiden through, a, um, through an orphanage in Calcutta. And at that point in time, when he was a year old in the orphanage, uh, he needed surgery. And uh, he, the surgery was paid for by East Meets West. We didn't know at the time, but once we adopted Aiden and he came to Canada, we got contacted uh, by East Meets West, and we're very grateful for all they've done for little Aiden. Yeah. So how does it feel to see an event like this one with all these people coming together to raise money for causes much like yours? It, it, it's quite lovely and it's quite awesome. I mean, we, we drove up for, from Vancouver for this. We dragged the grandparents along to, uh, to help with Aiden. And, and it's absolutely wonderful. It, it's really crucial sometimes that these surgeries be done even before uh, the child is proposed to parents. So what, what they're doing here is great. It really helps. I heard he had a bit of an adventure today. Uh, today? Oh, that was yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Oh, when, uh, when they heard that Aiden loved the fire trucks, the garbage trucks, and the school bus, they organized all of that for him, and he was delighted. We had a lovely, lovely time. Yeah. He's got even an honorary firefighter today. Yeah. Yes, yes. His first words this morning were, are we going on a fire truck again? <laughs> we, we really want to stress one thing. Through organizations like this, they're doing such wonderful work. We went to Calcutta. We saw the orphanage. We saw the help they required. And honestly, what people are doing by contributing to these causes makes a huge, huge impact. So we're really, really grateful to everyone here. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to us and share your personal story, because that really does make a difference when people see that the people that it actually is helping. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we've caught up with Rajan, the man uh, behind all of this great food. I just hear some more stuff dropping into the oil there. What's on the menu tonight? So uh, we've actually got a couple of courses. So there's going to be uh, some vegetable pakoras. There's going to be some chicken tikka, which is made in the tandoor oven. And then there's also some fish pakora. So that's what the chef is doing here. Oh, he's got the uh, yeah. everything on the go there. Yeah. So um, what does it take to set up a big operation like this uh, on location? Uh, it takes a, a really good team, a lot of teamwork, and uh, takes a, you know the experience and knowledge of, of how to make the food fresh and, and you know serving it to everybody hot and 
It's kind of hard here without the, the full kitchen, but we, we make do with our, our uh, kitchen that we build here. So now It's super cool because you actually have a tandoor oven yeah. ar around yep. the corner here. Yep. Tim, you got to say this. It's, you, you have a traveling one, apparently. Yes, yes. this one we, we travel wanna, with. We don't want to burn ourselves. Oh, I've got a napkin here. and Yeah, so, so you can, can see inside there, Tim. You can see the, the wood is burning. Now, what would you cook in this? So uh, you do usually uh, appetizers like uh, the chicken, which you see in the back there. You do uh, that's oh, the on the, on the yep, spits on over the, there. Yeah, that's a tandoori chicken. It's like barbecued chicken. Um, we also do our naans there, right. and the naans we do uh, part of the dinner. And uh, Chef Anil is actually going to put oh, a couple of skewers in oh, there too. Skewers are going in the yeah. oven right now. Yeah. There they go. And that so gives like it, a wood fire at the bottom. Yeah, it's charcoal. Uh, it's, uh, it gives it the nice flavor and it, it helps to cook the meat uh, uh, very nicely from the inside, actually. Yeah. Wow, this is so cool. Well, uh, I, I know that the, the people inside are looking forward to, uh, to the, a delicious uh, feast. So thank you very much for taking the time to explain it to us. No problem. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah.